as Wirral County came to Wembley for their first ever FA Cup final. They had waiting in store the mighty Bolton Wanderers, a team whose players are rumoured to earn nearly £10 a week. Wing commander Peter Tatchell gets the match off to a rollicking start and that famous scouse wit is soon in evidence. Cover your ears, ref. Someone just called you a ninny. Ten minutes gone and Wirral earn themselves a penalty. Centre forward Stan Bassett steps up to take it. And strikes it only a whisker away. Never mind, Stan. Keep on smiling. After a cracking end-to-end -end encounter, the tie appears to be heading for a replay when Bolton let a wonder go. What an absolute cracker. That's worth seeing again. Wing Commander Tapshul blows up for the end of the game and the cup is on its way up the A575 to Bolton once more. We're all captain Stan Bassett goes up to receive his loser's medal from Her Majesty the Queen Mother, touching his crippled son Michael. With devoted fans like young Mike in tow, little Wirral County have a big future. Don't mess about with it! Kick it in the air! In the air, lad! Leave it, Mike. They're only eight. I'm sorry, love you. Knock it wide! The big lad doesn't like the sea! Come on, we're meant to be on holiday. You know what? I'd love to live in Spain. Everyone's so friendly and relaxed. Oh, I've got nothing against the Spanish, love. Neutral in the Second World War, but, well, we can gloss over that. Well, it's just not England, is it? Half the population is. Chris Waddle's got a place over there next to John Ketley. And there's a Brinks Matt robber down the front, so there's plenty of like-minded people. Oh, no, but it's not the same as at home, is it? I'd be lost without a decent chippy and a boozer. All right, but you won't find a traditional English tandoori around here anywhere. Why don't you just pack it all in and we can move down here? I can't just retire, love. I've got a big responsibility as manager of Colchester United. Well, for how long, then? Oh, I don't know, do I? But I can't just up sticks, can I, and move to Spain? Not unless Real Sochi that get on the blower. Eh? What about what I want, Mike? I've followed you everywhere. Preston, Burnley, Blackpool. But you said you wanted to travel. Not just around Lancashire. I really want to move to Spain, Mike. And now that Jason's at university... Dance school. It's a degree course. In movement. Well, anyway, the point is... It'll be just the two of us. You and me, living out our days under the warm Mediterranean sun. Careful, love. You're squashing me sausage. Just promise me you'll think about it, eh? Johnsy! Hey, look, love! Hello, son! All right, boss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnsy, me old look, and it's great to see you. Hello. Get him a cup of tea, will you, love? How'd you take it, Dodsy? Uh, white and four, please, Mrs B. Great to see Dodgy again, isn't it, love? It's me and my bloody holiday, Mike. Oh, she's delighted. So what is it that brings you out here to the back of beyond? Well, boss, I was asked to come and see you. The thing is, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Oh. Oh, well, go on, son. Fire away. Give us the good news first. You'll not believe this, boss. We're all county. What you as their new manager. You're joking me. Did you hear that, love? We're all county have come in for me. I heard. Oh, well, that's bloody marvellous, that. But I can't live just like that. I've got a job over at Colchester United. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, bad news, boss. Oh, Jesus. Exactly. Are they offering a decent payoff, Dodsey? Ladies and gentlemen, the new manager of Wirral County Football Club, Mike Bassett. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you to our chief executive, Mr Johnson, and, of course, to our chairman, Sir Denzel. It's, uh, whoa, great to be home. Fire away. Mike, you've been a Wirral fan since birth and your father played for the club. How do you feel about this place? <laughs> Where do I begin? There's only one club I've ever dreamt of managing and this is it. Well, this and maybe Manchester United. And I've always had half an eye on the grasshopper of Zurich as well. Next. Yeah, Mike, you lost the England job following a disastrous Euro qualification campaign. Look, look, we've been over this a hundred times, son. Haven't we? Everyone knows there's no easy games at international level. And Liechtenstein are no exception to that. You were then sacked from Newcastle after taking them down in consecutive seasons. Yes, but I left them in far better shape than when I found them. In what way? Well, it's reduced the wage bill by half for the start. Well, only because the best players left. Yes, I know that, son, but what exactly is the point you're making? After that, you were paid off by Norwich and Colchester. I mean, what makes you think you can be a success here? Because this is my town. 
This is where I come from, isn't it, lad? I've got house near ports in my veins, literally. All that pollution from the Stanlow sulphur plant, and I tell you what, I'll move earth, wind and fire to get this club back up there where it belongs. Next. Uh, Mike, do you have a message for the literally dozens of Whittle County fans up and down the country? Of course I do. I say be proud. Look at what this area's given to the world. The Manchester Ship Canal, John Prescott, Thomas Crapper, the inventor of the modern flush toilet, and of course, leave them steps. So to all them Whittle County fans who've lost hearts over the years and drifted off to the big clubs like Manchester United, Liverpool and Wrexham, I say come home. The good times are winging their way back to Whittle. <laughs> Great to have you on board, Mike. I'm sure you'll turn this club in the right direction. Nice to be on board, Rupert. Richard. Ah, Richard. Here he is, Dodsey. The man of the moment. Just wanted to say, your dad made this club, Mike. Single-handed. No, said Denzel. You made this club. Oh. Cheer, Dodsey, quick. All right, sir, Denzel. <coughs> and together, We'll bring the good times back, said Denzel. You go on, lad. You go on. What a man, Dodgy. He's given his life to this club. Sunk all his money to it. Dragged a kicking and screaming to the verge of bankruptcy. He's an object lesson to every chairman in the country. Why, boss? Marvellous. And do you know what, son? I'm going to repay him by putting the pride back in this club. Oh, that's a spirit gap, a no surrender, eh? <laughs> oh, the old trophy room. Seems like no one's been in for a spell, boss. <laughs> Blimey, look at this place, Dodgy. It's a bloody treasure trove. Hey, it's in its boss. Picture of the 1914 side. Only two of that side came back from the Great War, Dodsey. One of them had lost a foot. Still, they... they chucked him on it right back. He played some of the finest football of his career. Aye. Uh, Dodsey, will you just look at that? Hey, Just look at that. That's the only thing this club's ever won. It's an empty trophy cabinet, boss. Well, that's what we won, didn't we? The Trophy Cabinet Knockout Challenge of 1928. <laughs> Just look at the beadwork in it. Hey, look at this, boss. Jesus Christ, Dodgy. You're holding me dad's bust. Really, boss? Yeah. I thought that disappeared in the Great Robbery of 1972. Yeah, well, the thieves probably didn't bother looking in the trophy room, boss. He was a hero to this club, I'm telling you. Scored more goals than any player before or since. A record 12 in the FA Cup run of 1956. Pity you missed that penalty in the final. All right, Dodsey, don't rub it in. The first thing I'm going to do is put my dad's bust in the window so all the fans can look at it. There you go, Dad. Those are your people out there. Dodgy. Okay, Dodgy, 